Today, villagers are easy. Literally. All right, peeps, so that's right. Today we're getting into easy villagers. You might be wondering what that is. Well, that's this. We literally have a villager in a block. He can come out, he's in my, he's in my hand. I can take him, I can set him down. I can shift right click, or yeah, shift right click like you're gonna place something on him and he pops into my hand. So we're gonna take full advantage of that today. On a live stream, we went and raided a village and we literally raided for the villagers and we got a bunch of these guys. So we're gonna be working with them today. We got quite a bit of iron that I would like to smelt up because this uses quite a bit of iron here. Um, so we can make a trader like we did, uh, an auto trader where it automatically trades if you pump items in, a farmer, a breeder, a converter. It turns, oh, it turns villagers into zombie villagers. I didn't know this thing. Iron farm, this is what we're interested in today. We're, and I think this grows up the villagers, but we're gonna be working on an iron farm today. Um, and we'll be getting into create later on. Just, you just trust me, we're gonna make some cool create things. But for now, let's go ahead. Uh, we're gonna make a couple of traders. We're gonna make a breeder and we're gonna make an iron farm. So the breeder is actually the one we're gonna make first. We need to bed two iron ingots, uh, some planks and some glass. Now I did go to a random spot and they do make noises. So we're gonna put them a little bit away from us so they don't bother me because I feel like I would have a short fuse if they were just going ha huh, in my ear all day. So we just need a bunch of those. And here's the planks. Okay, and we're gonna make, oh, we need a bed. Do I think I have quite a bit of string. Okay, so that's a decent amount. We can make 10 things. I mean, not, not even because we can make three breeders, which is what we're gonna do. Okay, so let's make one breeder. Let's make two breeders and let's make three breeders. Okay, I have never used these, so I'm not too sure how they work. I'm gonna grab the two nitwits and let's go. I think we'll make this, this the villager breeder area. Now this is just a temporary house. It's funny, I actually locked a villager in here. Uh, I can also just steal the beds. I just realized, I think I can make one more. There we go. We have four, so we're gonna clear this out. Okay, we'll come back in here. Actually, I'm gonna move that lighting to here. Okay, so breeder, here we go. Um, does it have to face that way? Can it face this way? It can, okay. So output, oh, no. Put him in here, we put them in there. Food items, okay. So then we also need a farmer. So we have the breeder over there. And the great thing is, is that it's way over there, so we can't hear it. All right, so a farmer. Okay, so it's a bucket. Okay, we got some water here. Grab that real fast. And we should have a decent amount of dirt. I collected some, that's right. I actually had to go out and collect dirt. We're trying to make this place look kind of cool, kind of like a village that you'd find in a random place. Okay, so we have a villager. I is, or sorry, we have a farmer. I assume that we will need something obviously that we'll need does he just farm it doesn't make sense like why would he do that we have to give him some items right am i being crazy okay i've got some some seeds here some wheat seeds so we're gonna give that to them okay so i just i just planted the seeds now i don't know how long it takes him to grow that but we can put oh i think we need to put bread or something no I think it's just like carrots or potatoes. I should have potatoes. Okay, I do have a carrot. So I'm gonna plant it and we are, we have a bunch of bone meal because of our farm. We're gonna go ahead and grow it. Got quite a full house on. My buddy Psychotic Butcher. Oh, my buddy Psychotic Butcher is online. If you guys haven't checked out his channel, I highly recommend it. I'm trying to convince him to record this world. So help me out. His channel is linked down in the description. Okay. So now equipped with our carrots, we can go here. I'm gonna eat some toast, don't mind me. Maybe if we put it like this, they'll do their thing. Maybe they don't, they don't do anything during the day. So I just slept during a blood moon. I'm not too sure how I was able to do that. I think we, I might've messed up the config somehow, but I'm not really that concerned. And they're still, they're still vibing, a breeder. Easy. 
So it needs 24 carrots per guy. Sorry, I took it. Have this. Okay. Iron Villa Iron Farm doesn't really do much, but let's see about getting that iron farm up and running. Okay. So iron farm takes a lava bucket. Actually, I have a bucket. Let us get some lava. Okay, lava acquired. Very good. We have hot stuff like my wife. Haha. <laughs> so, I've got I've got to get some stone. There we go. Some stone. There we go. Here we go. Boom. Iron farm. I have no idea how this guy works. But uh, let's... I'll grab a couple of these guys. I'd like to get some librarians, honestly. Okay. Iron farm can go here. One. It's just one. Okay. I'm going to get some more lights. Okay. So this thing is different. Oh, they got us carrots. We got a baby villager. No iron. Okay. So I guess they didn't need any more items. Okay. Incubator. So we take this little guy out. Villager input. Oh, I thought he died. Okay. So they just take forever. I'm going to keep a couple of these carrots. And I'm going to swap them out, honestly, from our wheat to our... We're going to switch them from our wheat to our carrots. That's just the way we is. Carrot, 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 carrot. All right, let's see about getting some librarians while we wait. Um, let's see. I need some books. Okay, we got some books. Very good. Gonna need some weed. Very good. Place these here. I only need two. So bookshelves. Uses. Need slabs. Okay, so we got two lecterns here, which is exactly what we need. We need a trader. This is just redstone. So we just need two. Good. All right. So let's get these. I'm going to move the other guy over here too eventually. We're going to make this a bigger area. I don't know really what we're going to do yet. Okay, so you there, you here. Um, place a villager. Toolsmith. Now he doesn't want to do that. Do you? What if, what if I enticed you with this? Haha. <laughs> Fortune two. Spear fishing. Auto smelt. Life. Oh, mending. I saw mending. Death strider. Luck of the sea. Shield bash. Impaling. Impaling. Look at the sea. Digging. What does that even do? Stasis. This isn't. I missed one. I totally saw it. Um. Obliteration. Icy Thorns 2, Impact 1, Sharpness 5, that's awesome, but not for us. Oh, they all they all didn't like that. Capturing 3, that's not half bad. We'll get it later. Fire protection. Oh man, I really want that that uh, texture pack where it kind of tells you, gives you a hint of what it what it is. Stasis. This is Destiny 2. Could you imagine if I had to break it each time I wanted to do this? Jeez. Miner's fervor. Wine very fast, but never instantly. That's terrible. What the? Oh! Wow. He's still... Still taking damage. Oh, wow. We got more little ones. Be with your friends. Oh, it can only be one. What do you have? Some carrots for us? Good. Now we can make another villager. I like this so far. Okay. We are already outgrowing this room. We should upgrade. But we shan't. We will put him in here. Yes. Oh! Mending. Let's go. All right. So I let these kind of load. and Load. Yeah. Turned out pretty good. Get out of here. No one wants to see you. Okay. So I, I th I've got a couple of ideas of how we can set this up. I think our first priority should be as many farmers as we can, honestly. I'm going to grab this mending trade, though, because I really... Really want to lock that in. Okay, don't do it. Books, four books. So we could do the converter, take the villager out, and that will lower the trade. And then we should theoretically have infinite books, our book, infinite emeralds and books. So we're going to need to get a third one. Actually, I'm going to do, no, I don't want to do that. I almost locked in the trade. Jeez Louise. 
seems almost really dumb. We need a bookshelf trade. We got fire protection. No. Frostbite. Skulk Smite. That's pretty cool. Unless there's something like crazy that I need. I don't think I'm going to go for the bottom one. Okay, let me figure this out. Oh my, we just got a second mending. I'll do it. It's got a book trade. Yeah, we'll be good. Okay, so eventually we'll convert these two guys. That's not our priority now. Uh, we're worried about this. So farmers are our number one priority right now. So we need to make quite a few of those. And we do have some candidates for the breeder. But I do think I need to go ahead and upgrade this building. I want to stick with kind of this theme. So the cobblestone and spruce wood. So that's what we're going to do. Okay, I need I need some more spruce wood. So this is what I've been doing. So I take an ender pearl and I throw it up. And then I quickly grow the tree and I get to the top. Now I'm here. Good. I wait for my food to generate. Dang, this is kind of a... How did you get there? How... Okay, so we've got one more villager that's alive. That's good. Oh boy. Oh, you know, if you just do what I did and just jump straight to the bottom, you can go right through your food supply. Okay, but the good thing is we have enough spruce logs, so I'm going to get started and hopefully I don't die. But yeah, we're going to go kind of with this style, but better. All right, so this is what we're rolling with so far. I decided to strip dark oak just because it's gonna look the best with the background that we have here. Um, but now starting the process of building up the second layer here. And then just, uh, you just gotta put some stairs upside down. Uh, not there. And uh, yeah, this uh, this should actually look fairly, fairly decent. It's a nice build. Be able to hold our iron farms and such so yeah now we just move on to to this part and i go up here okay so now we have the second layer built um i think we're gonna make this side the door in yeah i think we're gonna do that but this is how it's looking um normally i just take some half slabs we'll do some spruce ones to spruce it up all right and i'll go kind of here like so and then in the middle we'll do an upside down slab i may actually change that block to be something else because this is kind of looking weird to me yeah i think i'm gonna change change this out but we can still go ahead and and put these guys in oops not that one this one just like so cool so we'll switch them out eventually we don't have to oops, don't have to do it now but yeah, this is the process, and we're going to put the roof on next. Okay, so this is how we're looking. Uh, I really need to swap those out. Give me a second. All right, so this is how we're looking here. I put some tough blocks here. It's not completely done, but it is majority of the way done. We got some lanterns in here. I was just realizing that botany plants might actually be faster than using um the farmers but we'll see we'll we'll try them side by side but yeah i just got to put some some logs here but yep this is the second floor um you got this which you can headbutt which is really really cool uh yep so this is where most of the villager stuff is going to be happening what is going on in this direction hmm it's a lot of lag going on over there okay but anywho we are going to put the villagers in their spots and we should be rocking and rolling. Um, so yeah, we're gonna get some breeders in here. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. I think it would be interesting to put them on upside down or on prep doors, like so. And then we can come in here and add these for some support okay so yep here these are and we can put oh that's that's not it put one breeder here one's got that one's even got one in it already and then we'll put one over here so this one doesn't have one in it yet and then okay and then over on this side we'll have the breeders over here um i can put another one like so i'm gonna put something here like maybe a fence post or maybe something like this uh, you know maybe something like that and then a fence post or 
a stair or something, something to go up there. Um, but yeah, this is how this side will be. And then over here, we can have some traders. And then down here, I think we're gonna have the iron farm, the iron farms over here and we can collect them. The trading hall, I'm not too worried about. The breeders, however, we may need to kind of pull, pull them out or something like that with some pipes. Uh, we'll see how that goes. Um, but then, hope oh, not, not this side. I want this side to have these here, like, like so. So this is our little villager thing. And I guess we can put this guy here for now. Uh, he's giving us some, some of these and we can go like that. And then the last thing we need is the incubator. Um, yep. And we'll put the incubator right here. Oh, we got a villager. Sweet. So we can move him over there and start working on these guys. Yes, so I'm gonna ch go ahead and chunk load this area so that these are working non-stop. And then we should have, yeah, we got some iron in here. Yeah, we'll, we'll definitely take that out. But for now, this is not too bad at all. Let me just fill this in real quick. Okay, so something we're gonna do here now, we can set up two of these actually, is we got some uh, hopper botany pots from a quest. So we can throw these in here and we can see which of these is faster. Um, we're gonna move the iron golem. I don't know. I don't think it works like this. I don't think it works like that, but if not, we can we can make it work somehow. But yeah, we'll, we'll see which is, which is faster over time. Uh, not today. Um, so yeah, let's get the, put the iron golem from over here. But yeah, this is our little villager area looking great. All right, so we got this thing where we want it for this episode. Uh, I really like how this looks. So, so far we're at five and five for these, but look at this, we're at nine. So there is a, like obviously it's not going here, but there's a good chance that this is actually faster. Now I don't know how much faster this will be if we put better essence or better farmland in here, but so far it's looking real, there you go, looking really good for this guy. So I'm actually really excited about that. I think that's really cool that it's significantly faster. But yeah, let's get let's get some some stuff in here. So it needs 24. Okay. So we have we have another one here. Very good. We can put them. So we have a total of four baby villagers to go in some breeders and in here. I moved the armorer from our base over to here. So yeah, it's looking good. I want to put a carpet in here and you know. I don't know, maybe we put this. That might just be too much, but just, it didn't feel like it was light enough. Oh, and these didn't get stripped. There we go. Okay, so there we go. Looking good down here. Rock and rolling. He agrees, we're rocking and rolling. We're looking good. We'll get some like cyan carpet down here. I think cyan will look really good in that, give us some color. Uh, but I've also been putting up these dark oak autumn trees and I love the color. I love how this is popping with the, the land. So I want to scatter these kind of everywhere. We're going to have a path kind of going up here. I can see it kind of going and snaking over, maybe kind of curving up here, like starting over here and then kind of making its way up and putting some stuff up there as well and some stuff over there and getting on top of this, putting a tower up here. But yeah, um, I don't think this is going to be our future base. We'll probably end up putting our base on top of that or over there, but I definitely want to stay in this area for a while. We're really trying to get a city going. I want each of these little buildings to have their own little section. But ladies and gentlemen, that's gonna wrap up the video for today. If you did enjoy the video, please make sure to hit that like button. And as always, guys, don't forget to subscribe. But this has been Super Turtle, and I'll see you all in the next episode. Take care, peace out, bye-bye.